Mr. Jackson, we're back. Yeah, we're here, Mr. Jackson. Ah, it's good to see you all, kids. Yesterday, we looked at the parable Jesus told about the talents. I've also been looking forward to Kelly uh, sharing her thoughts. Hmm, well, I think the master is Jesus. He goes on a very long journey, and this is like the time between when he went back to heaven and when he's coming back again. Hmm, yes, sir, yes. Sir. Keep, keep on going, Kelly. And the talents are like, well, the talents that God has given to us so we can help others to know about Jesus. Oh, yes, ma'am. You are right on there, Kelly. Right on. God has blessed you with discernment. Uh, that means uh, wisdom and understanding of his word. God wants us to use all that we have to help others to come to know him. Uh, some of these resources include our spiritual gifts, our uh, natural talents, uh, our time, our money, uh, our knowledge of God's word, the Bible. Wait, so in this parable of the talents, God is the master and you and I are his servants. The talents that the master gave to his servants in this story was a form of money. But that's not all this is talking about because God has given us talents too. God created each of us with different special gifts and he wants us to use these gifts right now to help others to know him. He doesn't want us to bury our talents and hide them away. Yay! Jesus has also been gone for a long time, but just like the master returned without warning, so Jesus will return one day. The servants knew that they would have to report back when their master returned. And we also know that one day, we will have to uh, give an account to Jesus. Uh, that's right, yes sir. So back in the Bible times, what exactly was that talent that they were given? And like, how much would it be worth today? A talent is 33 kilograms. In today's gold prices, that's worth about $1.32 million. So the master was quite wealthy. <laughs> he entrusted a large amount to his servants. Just as the servants were building up their master's estate, we should build up our master's kingdom. It is not a material kingdom, so it is not measured in terms of money or the size of your bank account. So, we have all been given talents, and we need to use them to help God's kingdom to become bigger. And we build his kingdom when we faithfully share the good news about Jesus, when we are faithful stewards of the talents God gives us. Well, I want to use my talents, whatever God has given me, to share the message of Jesus with whoever I can. Yeah, me too. Well said, my dear Bible buddies. I hope y'all can go out and share some of the good news that Jesus gave and help build up God's kingdom. Great is his faithfulness. I hope I see y'all tomorrow. I got me another good parable that y'all gonna want to hear, yes sir. Sure thing, Mr. Jackson. Thanks, Mr. Jackson. See you tomorrow. Our God has called all of us to faithfully use all the talents, all the resources, in fact, everything that he has entrusted us with to share with others the message of his love with the world. I am looking forward to hearing Jesus telling me what it says in Matthew 25, 23. The master said, Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount uh, so now, I will give you many more responsibilities. Uh, let's celebrate together. I'm Arnie from Arnie's Shack, and you have been listening to our Bible Buddies. Yeah, our time is up for today, uh, but I will look forward to catching up with all of you again next time. So take care, stay safe, and God bless. Learn about our wonderful God, He's Jesus. Stop, stop, stop.